Hello ladies and gentlemen, Ji Yong here and welcome to another Skyrim Redguard news update. This is some good shit that has been discovered that I'm about to share with you guys. Thank you YouTube user YK Sport for sharing the link to the Reddit post by user Cold Beef Pie that greatly aided in discovering this information. Yeah, I know. Ugh, another Reddit rumor? No, no, no. Listen, this dude actually makes some really good points. Of course, none of what he says is confirmation of anything, but this Reddit post has helped me discover more clues within the lore of Elder Scrolls and in the game of Skyrim that points to the next Next DLC taking place in Hammerfell and being heavily tied to the Red Guards. So just sit back, relax, and hear me out. Okay, cool. So let's start with the name Na Falar. If you've played enough Skyrim, you will recognize that these words are draconic. This is actually the name of a dragon, and if you found the book known as Atlas of Dragons in Skyhaven Temple, you will see his name under the section "Known to Live." In other words, this dragon is alive, and his location is currently unknown. Now, Nafalar has many names. He is known as Nafalaz sometimes, and other times he is referred to as Nafalalargus. So, why is this dragon so important? You ask. Well, if you look up Nafalalargus and read his biography, you will read that he was a red dragon who inhabited the time period of the Second Era, working as a mercenary for Tiber Septim during his conquest of Tamriel. Yes, folks, a dragon mercenary. You will also read that this dragon was called upon during the Battle of Hunting Bay to defeat the Crowns of Hammerfell. Those unfamiliar with the Battle of Hunting Bay, it was a battle between the forces of Tiber Septim and the forces of Red. Guard Prince Ator, and it took place near the island of Stross Mackay, an island that belongs to Hammerfell, kind of like what Soulslime is to Morrowind. Now, as this battle waged on, Nafalar or Nafalalargus was eventually slain by a man named Cyrus, who makes an appearance in the spin-off game, The Elder Scrolls: Red Guard. Now, Cyrus is not a dragonborn, so he couldn't completely kill off the dragon like Dovahkiin could by absorbing the dragon's soul. So Nafalalargus actually survived and escaped, and this dragon's location is currently unknown. So as you can see, this dragon Nafalar, mentioned in the Skyrim book Atlas of Dragons, also known as Nafalalargus, the dragon involved in the Battle of Hunting Bay on the island of Strasmakai in Hammerfell, is very much involved with the history of Hammerfell. And the book isn't the only thing that mentions the dragon's name. You all know Sven, right? The Bard in Riverwood. Unbeknownst to most, Sven actually has an unused dialogue. Originally, when picking the dialogue option, do you know any old ballads about dragons? Sven was originally supposed to say, "There is the one about Tiber Septim and the dragon Nafalalargus." I never bothered to learn it. The blades killed them all centuries ago. Nobody asks to hear that lay anymore. So Bethesda, out of all dialogues to take out, why this one, the one about Nafalalargus? Simple. This dialogue option could have easily spoiled a future DLC, the one we currently know as Skyrim Redguard. So, guys, the clues are all there: the trademark, the book, the unused dialogue option. Also, remember the quest with the Redguard dudes looking for that Redguard woman. Combine all this with the fact that the trademark for Redguard was filed since before the original Skyrim game was released, and the fact that this trademark has been renewed up until now ever since, and it becomes obvious that these little clues, hints, and references have been added on purpose to foreshadow Skyrim Redguard, or at least in my opinion. All this information also points to another possible setting of the DLC, the Island of Stras Mackay. I mean, to be honest, this would make a lot of sense. These DLCs are supposed to be big, but not another Skyrim. So, to make the setting of the next DLC yet another island of decent size, kind of like what Soulslime was to the DLC Dragonborn, would make a lot of sense. What I will say is that Stras Mackay could end up being the main setting of Skyrim Redguard. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I know it was a lot of information. In summary, there are tons of clues that point to the next DLC being Redguard, and it looks like this DLC's story may revolve around the dragon Nafalar or Nafalalargus, who is very much alive and whose location is currently unknown. We may also get more insight on the quest involving the Redguard woman and the various conflicts the Redguard seem to be facing. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about these rumors and speculations. And while at it, be sure. 
sure to join the nation and subscribe to Young Gear to be constantly updated on Skyrim Redguard. I also cover other franchises like Fallout, Metal Gear Solid, The Legend of Zelda, Super Smash Bros., and much more. Also, subscribe to Young Gaming for my Let's Plays. So subscribe to both and join the nation because every gamer needs an Asian. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much. Andy Young out.